Hey, Rohit. God. Hey, Derek. What's up? Are you okay? How was your day? Well, I mean, you didn't come home last night, so I was just mm. one. That sounds rough. No, I'm not saying that. I know, I know work is important. Hey, are you free tonight? I thought we could check out that place on U Street. All right, forget it. Well, are you free tonight? Because there's this lounge in Georgetown. I thought we could... Well, how about tomorrow? Okay. Well, how about tomorrow? Right. Okay. No, I, I understand. Well, I guess I'll see you when I see you. All right, well, when you get a chance, maybe... Hello? Hey, Tara. I would love if you came over. Hey, weren't you gonna go home for your mom's birthday? What happened? I'm dreading going home, Rohan. You're missing the boat, almost 30 and no boyfriend. Your eggs are shriveling up and dying. <laughs> she gives me a headache. So don't go home. I hardly do. You know my folks. They're always trying to straighten me out. But don't you get lonely? I mean, you're the only person from business school who I hang out with. I get lonely, but that's why I hang out with you. Mm. Wait, aren't you and Derek planning to live together? Uh, I don't know. Maybe he's not ready yet. Really? You sounded so sure last time. Being single should feel amazing, right? I mean, you're the lucky one. At least you and your parents want the same thing, a man. Not really. Only an Indian doctor or a lawyer will do. But what if he's like bald or fat? <laughs> it doesn't matter. He can get a hair transplant, like Salman Khan. Oh, you mean like the Khan Academy guy? Oh, I love his YouTube videos. Seriously? No. You know, my mom... Never mind. No, come on. Tell me. Okay, well, she signed me up for this matrimonial website. What? Yeah. Slim, fair-skinned, South Asian professional. And you let her? I didn't know. Oh, you're a mess, girl. She used my prom photo, and then she said she took it off, but I know she's lying. Pinky Auntie wouldn't lie, would she? That's what you think. You don't know her like I do. But wait, didn't they uh, love your last boyfriend? Where was he from again? Oh yeah, Kenya, like Obama. Don't even start. I mean, you know, you never, you don't have to deal with this. Your parents will never try to find you a nice Indian boy. You know, my parents suspect, I'm sure. My mom, she even suggested that I get together with you. Oh my God, my parents too. Really? Yeah, Rohan is such a nice looking boy. Well, they're not wrong. I even told them that you were out of the closet and it didn't make a bit of difference. What closet? Rohan is just focusing on his career right now. <laughs> Your mom is clueless. My dad's no better. Rohan is so busy, he will get straight soon enough. <laughs> straight. It's, it's ridiculous.
let my mom talk me into this. Me too. You know, I've been to all the conventions, Gujarati, Patel, but I'm just resistant to date other types of Indians. You must know the feeling. Yeah, I totally get you. So, uh, you don't date a lot, do you? No, not really. Uh, what about you? Nah, I'm just too busy working at McKinley. It's a Fortune 500 company. Yeah, I know. I, I work in a nonprofit. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna go get a drink. Great idea. I could use a couple of tequila shots. You know, actually, I'm not even thirsty anymore. Good luck with your surf. See ya. You have a way with men. Rohan? <laughs> what are you doing here? I know, not my scene. But no harm in trying, you know? I thought you were committed to Derek. I am, I am. But I just came to support you. Huh. Plus, my parents suggested, you know, gotta appease the parents. Man, this is so unreal. Tell me about it. The last time I saw so many excited Indians in one place was in Costco. Oh, you know what? I should move away from you, otherwise I'll scare away your potential mates. Mates? You make me sound like a cow. And I'm doing a pretty good job of scaring them away myself, thank you very much. But isn't that what it's all about? Mating? That and also having beautiful Indian light-skinned baby boys? Ew. Oh, you know what? There's a friend of Dorothy over there making eyes at me. I'll check you out later. Friend of Dorothy's? Are we in Oz now? Tara, hi. Of course. Hi. Yes, how are you? Good to see you. Same here. What are you doing here? You're always so popular and you're gorgeous. Stop. Well, I was engaged, but my future mother-in-law turned out to be a complete psycho. <laughs> oh, wow. What about you? Well, I just haven't met the right guy. And here we are, <laughs> both pushing 30. Have, have you tried any of the dating apps? I have. But you know, I just keep getting profiles of those weirdos. Hey, is that Rohan? Yeah. You know, I always had a thing for him. Believe me, you won't succeed there. We just aren't his type if you catch my drift. Really? Yeah. Oh shit. All the best friends are gone. Wait, why is he even here? Why not? You think all of these uptight Asian men are straight? You'd be surprised. <laughs> Those aunties who organized this would be horrified. <laughs> Hey, Abhishek, what are you doing here? Hey, Seema, how's it going? Good, how are you? Doing alright, thought I'd check oh, it out. Okay. Uh, I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Bye. Are you having fun? Hey, Tara. Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. So, what do you do? I work at Accenture on the VP track. Impressive. Thank you. So, which state in India are your parents from? Does it really matter? UP, and they're cut three in case you're dying to know. I don't care about the caste. So why do you care about the state? It's your culture I wanted to know about. Anyways, I grew up in Bihar. So you seem to be an ABCD. That sounds like a disease. American born confused Daisy. And what are you? A fog? What's your point? Hey, that term is offensive. Look. I go to India for every family wedding. The last one had French food, Bollywood music, Ukrainian pole dancers. You know what? You have an attitude problem. I really feel bad for the man who marries you. Oh yeah? I got his number. I know, I know, Derek. But variety is the spice of life. Besides, I saved that poor chef from a terrible, dismal life in the closet, believe me. Well, at least one of us succeeded. Wait a minute, you, you didn't tell all these people about your rinky-dinky nonprofit job, did you? Oh, you're killing your chances of getting laid. So what? 
I should exaggerate my salary like all of these dumbasses. Yeah. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna die a cat lady. Well, if it doesn't work out with me and Derek, I'll join you. Hey, what are you up to tomorrow? I've got a date with this Asian guy. Oh, quite the social Susie. What? Another metaphor I don't get. You are a regular intellectual carrot. <laughs> now I'm rubbing off on you. To the start of a beautiful relationship. Wow, I haven't eaten at a Korean restaurant since I became a vegetarian. Oh, you're a vegetarian? Koreans eat beef. I know. Beef is a no-no for Hindus. Beef is a yes, yes for me. <laughs> Thank you for coming. The dating app lumps us all together. And your name is Kevin, so I thought, why not? Oh, that's my American name. Oh. You're not American? I want to be American. Ah. Uh, I'm uh, from North Korea. But I thought Kim Jong made it hard for you guys to leave. Uh, across the border from uh, Pyongyang to Seoul. Pyongyang? Don't know the capital of North Korea? Oh, sorry. I thought Seoul was the capital. Psst. Of South Korea? <laughs> Whatever. I want to go back to Pyongyang one day. Make Korea free. Better not say that too loud, right? Why? Americans don't want Korea free? We do, we do. It was a joke. I just mean, what if Kim Jong has some spies here? <laughs> You're not important enough. <laughs> hey, that was rude. <laughs> you, you being funny again. <laughs> no, I, I saw uh, India once in that uh, Slum dog movie? Very dirty and crowded. I would much rather live in India than Pyongyang. You can come to Pyongyang till I make it free. But that might take some time. I mean, wasn't Kim Jong's uncle chopped up? American propaganda. Psst. Hey, uh, maybe uh, later we go to your place and uh, Netflix and chill. Wow, OK. Slow down, buddy. That is way too soon. I like uh, Indian girls who are American. Really? That's nice. They easy. I don't... I'm not so sure I like Korean boys who aren't American. Uh, I'll be American soon. Well, I'm gonna go. It was nice to meet you. Where are you going? Take care. It looks like I've got to go buy a cat. You want your kimchi? So sorry to keep you waiting. I had a code blue at the hospital. Oh, that's no problem. Sit, sit down. Yeah. Was it an emergency? It was a cardiac arrest, you know. Can't postpone that until tomorrow. No, you can't. Uh, do, do you want a drink? Yeah. Oh, you go ahead. It's all good. Okay. I like a bossy woman. In fact, my boss is a woman. <laughs> well, I can be a bit bossy. Well, after working in the medical profession for a number of years now, I have realized that life is a lot like the large intestine. You have to wait through a lot of shit before you get through. <laughs> you know, Sorry. this place has the best mashed potatoes. We should get some. They're delicious and they're, they're mashed. They're great for your intestines. You have a sense of humor. I like that. Anyway, as I was saying, once the emergency was over, the family thanked me profusely. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, once it's all said and done, <clears throat> I admitted three people to the ER. A GI bleed, heart attack, and pneumonia. Oh, 
looks like I gotta go. I'm so sorry about that, but uh, catch you later sometime? Yeah, uh, okay. It's such a pleasure to meet you. Bye. Bye-bye. Have a good night. You too. Oh, you are on fire tonight. That must have been one heck of a date. It was. This guy, Sid, he is so handsome and so funny, and he's a doctor. It's perfect. Well, I'm gonna call it. I think this guy's the one. I hope so. I mean, I had a lot of fun, but you know, I've met a lot of duds, and it's just our first date. I don't want to get ahead of myself. But for the first time in a while, I felt like I had, we had a connection. <laughs> Shit! What? That's Sid with someone else. It's probably just somebody of you. Son of a bitch. Wait, why are you so upset? Rohan. Wait, come on, Rohan! Derek, what the? This isn't an office party, who's this guy? Who are you? Calm down, we're just chatting. Oh, you're chatty. You're chatty? <laughs> Jenny what the man. hell, man? Ah, you you could have had her. You could have had her. You could have had her. What the hell? All right. Just don't don't tell anyone about this. It's not what it looks like. You okay? Yeah. Who was that? My ex. Your ex? All right. All right we're fine. Going. Jeez, I don't want to eat there anyway. He has to go to some party for his boss. Bastard. You didn't have to burst my bubble. Oh, and you'd, you'd rather just stay in whatever that was? At least I could have had a few beautiful months with him. You're delusional, okay? At least I'm glad I found out. You were scoping out other men at the matchmaking event. You know, that was just, that was just me finding out what I wanted, okay? It was one date, we had gelato. I think I'll get a dog. What happened to Cat Lady? No, cats are assholes, just like Sid. <sighs> nah, don't worry so much. You'll rebound. With <sighs> my luck? Mm. I don't know. Uh, just try again. Hey, I just got something from my app. Oh. He's cute. Not bad, but he likes reality TV, so more my type, don't you think? I don't know what else Damn I Damn it, think. I can't win. You sure can't. Here's looking at you, kid. <laughs>